right, hello everybody. Um, this is Handle Apper Games, and you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. And it looks like I'm live, so I will close that. Oop. All right. Sorry, I had some technical difficulties, but everything should be good now. Um, I'm going to leave the chat on the right side of the screen. Um, if you have some Q and A, and I'm going to take a look at you. So today we're going to be um, working on some animations for when you open a door and it's apparel. So right now, if you've seen, um, if you've seen the of our videos for the Kickstarter stream. Uh, when you open the door, it is, you get glooping ooze and you go into the tunnel and it's lit up and there's your glooping ooze. But, and that'll work pretty well for um, when you have monsters that are cut out. And, but, not all the cards are monsters. Some of them are perils, and they're going to look a little bit different. So, let's see. So, the test that I'm going to put in today is going to be the Pit of Spikes. So, what I'm going to do... Let's go into the scene where we have the monster. And this is a test scene, um, so we can get we get to do all sorts of experiments in here, see what's going on. So let's get rid of, and we're gonna rename this pit of spikes. And we'll put the pit of spikes right on. That did not work right. I need to make this a texture. So. That looks like I made a bit of spikes texture, so I'll go ahead and put that there. All right. So, as you can see, the settings are all wrong, but I can go ahead and press play, and we can see what that's going to look like without changing anything. So it's reflecting off the light, making it look really flat, and it's not filling the um, hallway. So. we are going to make it look good. So one thing that I'll do, if you'll notice when I pull up the monster, it's, you know, it, it's got a little bit of 3D reflecting um, because I put a normal map on it. It's, you know, it's not perfect and it'll need some adjustments, but the general idea is there. So I'm gonna do the same thing with the Pit of Spikes. And the way I'm gonna, and the quick way that I will do that is make a copy of this. Oops. Um, for those of you watching that are not familiar with One Deck Dungeon, It is a roguelike dungeon crawler um, using cards and dice where you see you open the door, a real monster apparel, you roll the dice, and in, yes, I am going to try to make it look good. So we'll turn this into a normal map. It's a little bit too much. I'm gonna do it here. Point oh five. All right. So we wanna make. 
make some adjustments on the shader. It is probably reflecting too much. So it's a little bit more interesting. It's not quite right. Of course, it's a little bit more So as you can see, <laughs> um, there's a lot of different things you can change just by playing with the shader. And yeah, this normal this normal map will definitely need some adjustments, but for the moment you can get the idea across. I'm gonna go ahead and close hip chat so we don't get any more pop ups. Yeah. Alright, we'll try that for now. So, yeah, that's, it's a start, and I'm also going to make it a little bit bigger. So, so the hallway is following the shape of the, um, of the doors, so unfortunately it's not really a square, but that's okay. Let's try this. No. It's not ideal. And it's definitely not working with these these walls. And since this is a, a copy of the other scene, I'm going to go ahead and just change the texture on the walls. So, let's see. what textures do I already have made? Dungeon floor. What's dungeon floor? No. Oh. Planer. Let's see how that looks. All right. Doesn't look like there's any animation happening. Let's see, because it should be like moving forward in the, if it's running the same animation as the monster. Okay, I see the problem. It is too far up. So, we are going to give it a new animation. Yeah, because right now it's, it's using the monster controller, and that's not right. So we're going to remove that. Let's see now. We're going to go ahead and... If we wanted to start in the back of the tunnel... So now, we're, now I'm going to go through and create an animation in Unity. So the way you do this is I select the object that I want to animate and I pull up the animation window and create an animation clip. We're going to call this we're going to call this Pit of Spikes We're going to hit record. Let's 
so that's where it starts and well, let's say that's where it ends maybe this will be good maybe it won't so as you can see it is going way too fast and looping so those are both problems so we're going to go to the pit of spikes controller and see well let's see it's a monster controller I have it at like a way slower speed so we'll try that speed for the pit of spikes and then for the on the actual animation we need to say not to loop so now when we press play it will very slowly move forward um, it's getting closer to what we want it to look like but it's not quite there but while we have it in play mode so if we if we're not going to change the camera which we could change the camera animation but it's easier if we don't need to do that um, let's we'll put we'll put it let's see what no oh, it's not gonna let me do it is it all right all right camera well let's look at what position the camera ends up at so we can go into the camera So if you click on the camera and go to the animation window, it'll show us the camera's animation and where it ends up. So it, the camera ends up at 150, 0, 150, 40. So I'm going to close that and we're going to put it at 0, 150. Whoops, I dropped my mouse. because we want the the pit of spikes uh, image to end up right in line with the camera where we want it because it'll pause there for for a second um, also if I didn't mention it um, if you have any questions about any of the stuff that I'm talking about um, feel free to drop it in the chat and I'll try to answer your questions All right. Alright, so we'll open up the animation window. And I'm trying to position it so I can see both the editor camera and the game camera. And let me put it over here. it's going to be. If I hit record, then it'll remember wherever I move this to. So it looks like some of the floor is going to be showing regardless, but that's okay. It'll fill up that much, which for the moment it is alright. So I will record. So now Let's see what this looks like. Not quite right. But, you know, we're going to try some different things today. So. It actually looked like it wasn't moving at all. No, but it is. I think it's ref it's also way too bright. So let's take a look at the shader. Make it more metallic because they are spike. Let's see, does that look any better? That's at least more interesting.
Yeah, it's definitely not looking right that it's starting out so bright. Also not sh sure why it would look that way. Oh, because I have the camera. Let's see where the lights are set up. So, there's a directional light and a point light on the camera. I think the directional light is what's messing us up right now. So if I turn that off and press play, the door doesn't look great, but that works a little bit better. So We could put an animation on the directional light to make it like dim itself out, which actually would be probably pretty cool. So let's go into the camera animation. And it looks like there's already uh, an animation on it. So what do I have it doing? Oh, it looks like it's already fading out. But I think it needs to fade out a lot faster. Because it goes down to zero at the end of the animation. So I'm thinking maybe it should go down to zero in the middle here. Of course, oops, I need to press record first. Let's test that one out. Okay. That is starting to look a little bit better. Um, the normals on there are not right. Let's see if I can at least temporarily make them look better. This maybe not pretty screen off. That looks, no, never mind. Sorry, I'm kind of talking to myself right now. Okay. I'm kind of thinking now that I might want to have this light make a comeback. So let's see. So there's a point four intensity, then it fades out, and then maybe let's maybe have it come back to. Point one. I need to forget to record. Yeah, go to point one. Okay, let's let's make this full screen and see how it looks. Okay. a thing. Um, well, another thing we can do is tr test it out with some other images. So,
Oh, but you know what? I don't think I've, um, I haven't saved those out yet. But I do have monsters. Yeah, let's maybe try it with, like, the black doorway. I think that'd be kind of cool. Let's see how that looks. See if it works with the same animation. Oh, I guess it doesn't work. Let's test this out. It's locked. Don't worry. So, that did some interesting things. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Hmm. Let's see what this looks like. Okay. So the other thing that we could do, since these are kind of getting cut off, um, which is unfortunate, Because it'd be cool, to, you know. It's it's really neat artwork. Um, so I'd like for more of it to be visible. So one thing we could do. Is you could actually have it turn into a like a square hallway like part way down the line um, so I think that would probably look a little nicer so let's try that so this floor is kind of in the way I'm going to turn off the cube floor So if we want it to end up about there, can't remember. Yeah, these are in pieces. Um, <laughs> thinking, trying to think the best way to do this. It will separate these walls. I'm not sure this is the best way to do it, but we're going to try it and see. I 
actually, you know what? I don't like this idea. Let's forget about that. Okay. I guess it would help if I adjusted the animation to actually put it in the right place. So, black doorway is it a Z height of 8.6, which is different, which is different. So the reason that it um, looks like it's floating is because I haven't updated the, um, I'm sorry, the Y value. Because you see when I move it, that changes. So I'm going to go back to the animation window, and oh, that's interesting, okay, so see what's happening is it's at minus 12.7, so I'll just fix that number, so now it's moving in the right place. Well, it's appearing in the right place. Doesn't look as nice as we want it to look. But, it's definitely reflecting way too much light. again. Alright, let's see if this works. Alright, I think I might be live again. Um, I also might be mech echoing terribly. So, um, if anyone in the chat can hear me, please let me know, and I'll give this another try. Let's give this another try, and I'll give it a second and see if anyone can hear me. Um, testing, one, two, three. I guess I'll, for lack of a better idea, I'll keep working for a little bit. Okay, great. It looks like people can see it here again. Awesome. Cool, cool, cool. What is it? All right. So, where was I? I was trying to make this look good. Anyone else getting a weird echo? Yes. I am also getting a weird echo. So I wonder if I have too many... Does that help? Hmm. Yeah, well, we'll see. Because I only need one of these audios working. Um... It gives me a mystic air. I am in the dungeon with echoes, and I, I'm hearing the echoes too, which is very frustrating. Um, 
All right. I don't think that helped, but I'll keep working. Okay. So we're going into the dungeon. All right. It's not quite where we want it. We have to do another live stream to make up for this one. And the next one will be amazing. That's, that's the plan, right? Okay. In the meantime, here we are. That's one way that we could do it, I think. Um, the camera definitely needs needs to be a little higher up so you can't see the floor at the bottom because that doesn't look very good. So we're going to adjust the camera animation. And I guess we could just have it. I'm thinking. Well, let's see what it's doing. So if we press play, uh, that's a little bit too fast, um, but it's moving, moving in into there. So interestingly enough, this is one of the weird quirky things, is it looks like it's, in the preview down here, it looks like it's in the right place. Um, which makes me think that I might have the a black doorway in the wrong place. So let's take a look at that animation. Okay, so there you go. It is not coming forward far enough. Oops. I'm not going to the right place. So let's press record so it actually remembers where I'm putting it. And let's try pressing play now. And I I apologize everyone for the technical problems. I'm not sure exactly what all is going wrong. Yes. Okay. I do feel like I'm in a dungeon right now. I'm just like running back and forth through this tunnel and I'm hearing an echo. So that's okay. I actually think this might be a closer to the right direction. Um, not sure about whether it should be bricks or something else on the side. We can make um, maybe something, maybe a darker texture would make more sense. <laughs> the stream presenting in 5.1 Dolby Gen Surround. Oh, is it, it really is bad, isn't it? If I turn that off, does that make a difference? I can still hear myself. If anyone can't hear me, let me know. Um, I don't know if that actually helped. I don't know. Game show is malfunctioning. So, anyway. I got all sorts of materials in here to test out. Ooh, look at that. Or I could just make a new material. We'll call this Explore Parallel. Okay. Yeah, let's just 
just make it solid. Just see how that looks. What it might make sense to do is be to modify the image so it fills the width. Hmm. I'm going to try that actually. I think that might work better. Fog effects. Well, there are, there are clouds of smoke floating around in this hallway um yeah i can i can show you what effects are happening so there's there's a particle system right there like shooting clouds of smoke um and i think that might actually be the only one that's on right now yeah, it's the only one that's on. There were some other, those are the ones I used when I was testing. I can show you um, while we're talking about it. So let's see. I don't know. I don't even know where this system is. Oh, all the way in the back. So you can't actually see it. Um, this was the one that is working. Move around. I know I tested out some other ones, but I might have deleted them. Anyways. <laughs> Just reading some of the comments in the chat. Alright. So let's... Black doorway. Let's take this black doorway image. And open it up in Photoshop. So we're gonna try a thing. It may or may not be a good idea. So let's see. Oops. So this back wall here. It's about 50 by 38. I don't know if, um, I guess it makes more sense to look at the doors. Each door is a secret size. Line it up with this quad. It's a little bit too wide. We know the screen is four or three. So let me think. this down. Oops. And then maybe fade that in. Let's see. We'll do the quick version here just to see if this is going to work.
rather than having it be like a hard edge, have it like fading into the background would be kind of cool. So it's not perfect, but I think it'll, it'll get the job done. Close black doorway test match. All right, um, but we don't actually want to use it in these dimensions. We're gonna because um, we want the actual texture to be a power of two. So we're gonna go back to the canvas size, and we're gonna make the canvas twenty forty eight by twenty forty eight. Well, this part might actually is it actually going to show up. All right, let's do that. Yeah, this is an experiment, which is you know. So don't worry, I'm not worried. It's not perfect yet, but I'm I'm going to try a thing. I forgot that I wanted to leave the chat open. The chat's like, what is she doing? This is crazy. All right. crazy one on the quad. <laughs> yes, I agree. Art is often crazy and that is why it's fun. looks like that's starting to look more the way I want it to look. So let's see what happens if I press play now. Okay. Now it is filling, it is filling the screen now, um, which is, I think, getting closer it's getting closer um you know just as a reminder the monster
Okay. Oh, we might need to put the floor back in. I forgot I turned the floor off. So, where is that cube floor? I think I called it cube floor. Yeah, that sounds right. And maybe if I just lower it a little bit. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, I think that's a decent direction um, for the moment. Might be time to try some different things with monsters too. Hmm. All right. So that's an okay place. Um, I'm a little concerned about having a monster floating because some of the monster art. Uh, it's not going to work that way. So, I think the next thing to try is to bring in So I, um, one thing that I've been doing is, um, I made cutouts of the monsters. Um, well, it's not just monsters. It's so like like the Drake is a boss, and um, it looks like most of the monsters are kind of you know they're kind of work in the same way as the slime, but the bosses are a little bit different. Um, but some of them. Some of them are going to be up against the edges, too. So I'll do some custom things for them. But let's see, who would be a fun one to try? Let's try dropping in the Skeleton Warrior. Actually, I'll make a new folder. We'll call it Monster Cutouts. And I'll put all of them in there for the moment. Even though, actually, I'll leave the bosses out. So, not the Hydra or the Lich or the Drake. Alright, let's see if this will work this time. Alright, I'm going to give it another try. Um, hopefully it'll be working this time. Um, and hopefully it saved the previous tries. So, alright. I have confirmation from the chat that it's back. Um, hopefully it might be even better now. I don't know. Great, the auto AO isn't even echoing. Awesome. Alright. So let's work. Yep, looks like that worked. Create a new. All right. So I'm gonna test out some of the other monsters and see if they are working. So it looks like this needs to be cut out. Yeah. Nice. Oops, that is not the slider I wanted to move. Oops. 
see how the bandit looks if we do it things exactly the same as with the glue beans. So there's a couple problems. Um, I'll make it bigger so it's easier to see. The time, yeah, he's cut off here. So we want to make sure that this ends up with the bottom of the image being even with the bottom of the screen. So we're going to have to make a new animation. So let's go ahead and do that. I guess I need to figure out what Y height it should be at. Oh, oops. Hmm. Minus 20. Alright, that is nice and even and round. Too. So we're going to go to the animation window. Oops, not the profiler. And create new clip. That's what we're going to do. We're going to call this test monster appears. We can rename it later, but for now that'll make sense. Of course it put it in a weird place. It should not be in this folder. It should be in the animations folder. Okay. Yeah, the monster. Let's slide this over to the animators folder. And I guess I should probably separate the animations into a different folder within that folder, but for the moment, I think this is okay. So, here is our test monster. Okay. So we want this to start with him in the back of the back of the hallway. Oh, interesting, it like remembers, remembers the other one. That's kind of odd. Hopefully that didn't affect the other monster animation. I don't know why it would, because I made it a, because I made it a copy, so it wouldn't. Yeah, it looks exactly the same. Okay. So let's see what he's doing without any adjustments. So that's kind of cool. We just need to make sure he ends up on the ground. So. Certainly need to be behind the wall. We can have it right there. Um, minus 20. And this end, we want him at minus 20. Not minus minus 20, just regular minus 20. Okay. And possibly a little bit more forward. Yeah, more or less. So. Ah. That. And let's see what this looks like. Okay. It's ending up in an alright place. Um, there's definitely some artifacting around the, the edges, but yeah, you know, it's got the right idea. Let's make sure this works with other images. Okay. 
Oh, now this one will be interesting because it also has an edge on the left side. Um, oh, are you gonna make a? It's gonna make a new material for all of them. Awesome. In reality, they won't all be separate materials. It'll be changing, just changing the um, textures on the same material. Well, he's ending up in the right about right. Um, I think that back, the back wall image probably needs to be changed. But yeah, let's make it something. Let's make it the same as the walls. So what is the Dungeon 4, I'm assuming that's a testing material, yeah. Ooh, no, that does not look right. We'll leave it, we'll leave it as a brick wall for the moment. I think it's just regular brick wall background. Wait, brick wall 4, because it's a little darker. You skeleton warrior. Yeah, once again, he's ending up in the right spot. Um, I'm thinking maybe I could add a lot more fog to cover up the, um, it's one option. Let's try that. And I'll probably wrap up around 2.30, because I started late. Um, and just a reminder, if, um, <laughs> if there's anyone watching, um, if you have any questions, just drop them in the chat. So let's make a new fog system. Oh my gosh. This is just not my day. Uh, particle system. Alright. So that's what the default particle system looks like in Unity if you haven't seen it before. I'll stick that right underneath Test Monster. So there's a whole bunch of things that need to get changed. Alright, first of all, let's get rid of the bolt speed. Speed zero. And make the shape a Q box. I meant box. Right now that looks not amazing, but we will make it look amazing.
I'm gonna fix that. We'll put the actual an actual smoke. I want the smoke to be a little bit darker. Mostly to obscure the bottom of the um let's see if this does anything useful. Hmm. Need to move around a little bit. I will put a very slight speed on it. Maybe like point one. Actually, let's see what what direction are they gonna blow in? Okay. Yeah, that's actually not bad. Um, let's make them a little bit shorter. Yeah, there we go. And there's our skeleton warrior. Let's try it with a bandit as well. Because it was a similar type of um, <laughs> Yes, we could we could make the particle systems monsters as well. That would actually be super cool to have all the little skeleton monsters. Yeah, and because I started to show it, now I have to do it. <laughs> um, oh, that's the wrong particle system. It's a new one. So, there we go. Skeleton warriors everywhere. Um, we're not actually going to do that in the game. That's not a good idea. <laughs> but. Alright, well I hope that this was at least interesting when it was working, um, and thank you everybody for joining me today, um, and um, I think if there's no questions, I will um, wrap it up, and thanks again, bye. Alright, I ran into some um, issues with the stream earlier, so I'm going to um, do a quick recap of some of the things that I talked about today um, in the animation stream. Um, so first I'm going to show the, um, this is the animation that we're using for testing, um, where the glooping ooze, the door is open, the glooping ooze appears, and uh, you know, that that format works great for when a monster's cut out, but not so great um, for some of like the peril artwork that's like a full, full image. Um, and it's not just a figure. So I uh, tested. I tested it out um, with just the original image being a square, um, like the pit of spikes, and it sort of worked. Um, it looks all right. Um, and then I decided to test out the block doorway image and I got an idea to make it just fill the hallway instead of being cut off on the sides. Um, so I actually extended the image in Photoshop and um, I think that works a little bit better. 
And then um, I know some of the monsters are cut off at the bottom of their images. And so I made a new animation for them and I added some fog to obscure the bottoms. And I think, you know, it's it's moving in the right direction. It's it's not quite there yet. But um, anyways, that is um, what I wanted to show. And... I will, and that was my quick recap of some of the stuff I worked on. Um, oh, actually, while, while I have this open, I'll open up the animation window, because it's kind of cool to see how how it works. Um, so, like, the animation on the, the monster is just to, like, move forward towards the camera. Um, and the camera right now is set up in the, the spot where it's going to be, like, ending up after the camera moves forward through the doors. Um, to get it to line up correctly with the monster artwork. You know, likewise, we can look at the animation on the camera as it moves. So it starts out outside the doorway, and then it moves into the tunnel to about there, which is why the the character moves forward and they meet so it looks nice where it ends up and and I'll play this one more time and wrap it up for the day at least as far as streaming goes so thank you and have a good night